Now, let's put some images in our ad. Before beginning, let's discuss how images work in Adobe InDesign versus in Microsoft Word. In Word, we're used to inserting an image so that it becomes a part of the file we're working in. In InDesign, however, we import images to be displayed, not to become part of the InDesign file. We keep all of the images in our Assets folder, either in our computer or USB drive, so that InDesign can link to the images to be displayed, just like a hyperlink. This way we can crop and resize images on programs that are specifically designed for editing photos, like Photoshop, and then we can simply place them into our InDesign document. Note that while InDesign is not a photo editing program, we can still resize the image as it is displayed, just not the original image file. To get the best quality out of images, we recommend editing them in Adobe Photoshop first. That way, they'll look good on print and on screen. With this tutorial, though, we've already provided images that are the perfect size for our ad. Remember how in the first tutorial we told you to create an Assets folder? This is where we'll keep all of our images for our ad. Now, before we add the images, we'll create a new layer and name it Images. This way, we can move around images without worrying about changing other elements like the text. In the panel menu, click Layers and double-click the first layer, which is already set up. Name this layer Images, and if you want to, change the color. Now, with your Layers Images selected, we click File, Place, and select the image file, Jessica underscore Simpson underscore add dot JPG in the Assets folder. Our cursor changes to the loaded graphics icon with a smaller version of the image loaded onto it. We click Next near the top left corner of the document and drop the loaded image onto the page. The top left corner in the image appears where we clicked because this is the default image reference point. We won't worry about changing the reference point for this tutorial. Once we place an image, InDesign automatically creates a frame to contain the image. We'll select the frame by clicking on the selection tool. Now, our cursor changes to a dark arrow. We'll click on the edge of the picture until a border with square selectors appears around our frame. We can click and drag on the selector squares to change the frame size. We can also click anywhere within the frame to move the frame. We can also resize the image by clicking on the Direct Selection tool. We'll click on the image so, the, so that the border appears around it, inside of the frame. Remember that when we resize the image, we're not changing the actual image file, just its visual representation on InDesign. We'll play with the Selection tool and the Direct Selection tool until our image and our text box are properly aligned within the margins of our document. Now we'll add some color to the white space under our main image. To do this, we'll need to create a new layer. This layer will be called Background. We'll select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle in the white space. Then, we'll change the color of our rectangle by clicking the Color tab clicking on the Fill box, and selecting Color from the Color Swatch. Now switch back to the Images layer so that we can insert the beer bottle image to our ad. Note that the beer bottle already has a transparent background that we prepared using Photoshop.